All right, so today we're gonna make the world's easiest pulled pork recipe. This is a recipe that I used in my restaurant uh, just to make it same every time. Doesn't take much work and it just comes out juicy and delicious. This is my own barbecue sauce. It's a cherry jalapeno barbecue sauce that we got there. And you can use Sweet Baby Ray's if you'd like. I personally like to spice up my Sweet Baby Ray's a little bit by adding, by using either two or three parts Sweet Baby Ray's, one part Sriracha. So it's pretty much two bottles of Sweet Baby Ray's, one normal sized bottle of Sriracha. It gets it about the perfect spice. You'd think it's gonna be spicier, but because of all the sugar in it, it kind of tones down that spice a little bit. So we're gonna do this here. First thing you wanna do, just coat a little bit of a layer at the bottom. Just so it soaks in all the way around. Throw that pork right on the top. And then we're gonna pour this right over the top, making sure we get it all coated. All right, there we go. Time to throw it in the smoker. That's all it took. Ooh, missed a spot. All right, so we already got our brisket in here. You do want to put it away, far away from the flame as possible. So we are going to put it in there slide it all the way to the back there on the left hand side in this one every smoker is a little bit different this one seems to be the hottest in the center and then going to the right um if we didn't have the brisket in i'd throw it on the top but we're cooking both at the same time so the back left corner is going to be great all right pop it in here just like so oh that just barely fits want to get that probe right down in the middle of there this is a bone in, so you got to find the spot where it's going to fit. There we go. Put that back left corner, and we are good to go. Uh, pork's going to take a little bit less time than the brisket. That's why we put it in second. Uh, 12 to 14 hours, we should have uh, delicious pulled pork. Also, of course, being that this one's covered in barbecue sauce, it is. Uh, not a low carb like a lot of my recipes are, so I just want to make that clear. But we do have our low carb pulled pork recipe on our channel as well, so make sure you check that. It's definitely nice to come out in the morning to this smell of brisket. All right, we're back in sunny California. We got our pulled pork out of the smoker not quite pulled yet we got our pork butt out of the smoker uh in 204 internal temperature which is kind of like the high range of my life that i like it uh should pull apart really easily we're gonna use a big pan to pull it apart and uh this gives you a little extra room i don't like doing dishes so i like these disposable aluminum ones they are recyclable so let's get to it can use the uh, claws if you like i prefer either using two spoons or a spoon and a set of tongs. So I've never found a set of the claws that I really like. See the palm pulled right out, that's how you know it's done. And that smells delicious. It was great to wake up this morning, come outside and smell that cooker cooking. Okay, here we go. We're gonna set this to the side for now. And we're gonna use a little bit of it later. As you can see, it just comes right apart. Everybody's favorite part, you get a little piece of this outer part right here. Mm. Delicious. Nice and smoky. See, we got just a little bit of a smoke ring there. All right, a couple 
things I like to do is take a little bit of the uh, meat juice and stuff that came out of it, throw it in there, and just a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. I like extra barbecue sauce. If you don't, you don't have to do this, but I think it's tasty. I'm gonna mix that all up in there. And you got some delicious pulled pork. Let's try it out. Mm. Perfect. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll come up with many more uh, recipes. For those of you that are watching that used to come into my restaurant, uh, this is the way that we used to do the pulled pork and Jimmy Peppers, so if you liked it there, uh, you're going to love this.